But the first time I met MK, I knew she had a special calling on her life. I could just see she had an incredible heart after God. Well, MK is someone who I would I would describe as genuine. As she is as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. MK is a really a genuine person. Whenever you talk to her or she talks to you, you really feel that deep connection between you and her. And she'll always go out of her way to say something to you or give you a text message of encouragement. She's absolutely someone who is beautiful inside and out. And every time you meet her, you just realize that when she talks about Christ, she's bringing you closer to him and not farther away. MK is so full of grace in everything that she does, movements, her words. I think she has such a servant heart, and I think she she really just took on the challenge of just um, becoming like Jesus and becoming just so Christ-like, and she just loves those around her so well and just so deeply. The first word that comes to mind is really amazing, is that it's really just amazing, her lifestyle, and she's just an amazing person, and like everything that has to do with her is just completely amazing. She has this, she has this presence that she brings into a room that That'll just brighten up everybody's day. I remember there was a time when we were in one of those villages where it was all dirty and dusty. And, you know, me, I'm looking at like, oh, man, these kids, these poor kids come and, and they're just dirty, dirty, you know. And uh, MK, you know, she's just a real person. She looks past all that. And I seen her. She had this little girl sit next to her and they were crawling all over her. And she had her hands all up in their hair and was all in it and all around it, just like it was her own kid. And that's just exemplify just what it means you know you know to really have the love of Jesus wherever she goes and I imagine that's a lot what it was like when Jesus was here it just was so involved in that person they didn't think about any of the other stuff when she'd hang out with those kids you know and she'd be she would be hanging out and just getting in their lives and me and my dad still talk about and laugh about how she would just she was up in their hair and they were up in hers she didn't care she didn't care who was watching she didn't care who was with her she just wanted to be uh, wanted to be a part of their lives for that moment. She is beautiful inside and out, and she's such an inspiration to her generation. MK truly is the epitome of what Kappa Delta and what sisterhood means to me. Um, she was someone who I really didn't become great friends with until this past year, but I feel like our friendship has been a lifetime and will last for a lifetime, um, even though it really only has been such a short time. And that's not something that you find in everyone, and I am just so blessed and thankful to have been someone that could have her in my life. You know, M uh, MK, she's got such a, a way of, of getting in your life and, and staying there. I, I mean, in, in the best way possible. Like, like, you want her to be a part of your life. You know, and it's so it's so cool to see like the impact she's making, like not only on her closest friends but on everyone she comes in contact with. It, it, they 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 lighten up. They become like they they start to wonder too. Like even if they're non-believers, they'll start to wonder. There's something different about that girl. You know what I mean? I want what she's got because there's something different. And that's just a beautiful way of bringing people closer to God. What's something so great about her friendship to me is that she's loyal and faithful and she's always been such a loyal and faithful friend. And I'm so thankful for that. And I know that even being 550 miles away, she's always there for me, just shooting me a text and seeing if, how great I'm doing. And Ever since I did my first pageant with her and I was a princess with her, it was absolutely amazing. And I definitely think that she's such a great role model and I think that's something that I could look forward to in my life someone to look up to and someone who I know will be there for me all the time if you're looking for somebody to mentor your young daughters I would say I know the perfect girl and her name is MK and MK is a beautiful representation of everything that a young woman of God should be she has a gentleness about her and just a kindness I would really say that she's someone who's kind I've been with her on the mission trip um, several times and one picture that I have of MK is uh, everybody was playing soccer and in all this thing we're like where's MK and then all of a sudden we found her with one girl and she had picked grass and flowers and somehow she was weaving this bouquet and it was just such a precious picture of the way that um, Jesus kind of goes off and finds, finds that one in the corner and just makes them feel like 
the most special one in in the world and MK's like that. She'll leave the 99 and go after the one. She really truly is an inspiration. Um, she's one who has brought me to do us and really helped me connect in that aspect of my life um, and I see that not only with just me and not even only just everyone in Kappa Delta but really everyone that she comes that she has been in their lives with and I think that that is just so amazing because there's not many people who can do that and who can really have that true of an impact and it's something that's so passionate to her um, and it really makes me and I know a lot of other people want to be passionate about their faith and for God um, which is just something really, really cool and that I love to see about her. MK to me is like the physical embodiment of the Holy Spirit walking in the flesh with us day in and day out. It's just truly an honor to know her and to even call her a friend. Um, just every second that you know I spend with her is just incredible and that she just pours into you this, this heavenly angelic feeling that is just indescribable. It's literally like, literally what she is, is she just allows the Lord to use her um, in these unique and special ways. And she's just so obedient that God just can just use her in a way that's different than, she's, than I've seen in anybody else. Um, it's truly incredible. She's just a really good friend of me, and I'm blessed to have her in my life. MK, if I could say anything to you, I would say stick to it. Remember that this year is going to come, this year is going to go. And similar to how Paul would travel from town to town, meeting new people, impacting nations and surrounding nations because of that nation, um, God's called you to something great. And I believe He's given you this amount of strength, this amount of uh, faith for Him, just like Paul had to do amazing things because you don't need a strong group of people at your every single moment, like every single moment just coming around you for you to know that God is real and for you to keep fighting for Him. And that's a special quality and I believe that God is gonna use you to impact this whole nation. And I believe that as you do that, He's gonna prosper you. So I think that's a really important thing that you need to remember. I also want you to remember to keep journaling. I hope that you're doing that. I know we talk about it in New York. I hope that you journal a lot because the more you get to know God in a relationship level and just talk to him on paper the more you can look back on those times remember what he was doing and how he used you so when you're feeling your doubt and you're feeling discouraged you can look back on that and remember how great he is and I hope to see you soon miss you girl all right NK I just want to let you know through this time in your life that you have so many people that super deeply insanely care about you and want to know how you're doing and want to know how your day was and, and just and, and just want everything the best for you that can ever possibly be. I'm one of those people, everyone you're going to see in this video is one of those people and um, and I, I truly, truly care about you. God cares about you. You're beautifully and wonderfully made and it's so obvious to see as one of his creations, You, it's so obviously it's obvious to see that you are beautiful and you are wonderfully made and you have the light of God in your heart and that's so precious to see especially in this day and age that um that you are who you are and and that um and that we all know and you know that God's got you through this chapter in your life through the rest of your life let this carry on um with you forever that you are a creation of God and that's almost like the the best thing in the world to know. Once you know your creation of God, that's that's an overwhelming love feeling, just as simple as that. And you know what? God loves you, I love you, we all love you. Hi, I'm Kay. I love you. I love you with all of my heart, and I'm so proud of you. And I just want you to take in everything that's happening right now because you know, before you know it, it'll be over and this time will have passed. And what happens in the next stage of your life, you know, we don't know that yet. So I just want to encourage you to keep moving forward in every step that you have here. I want you to be bold, be courageous, be who you are, stand 
firm in the word of God and he will guide you and he will lead you every single step of the way just like he has from the little girl to now the past present present and future you know he's got you so I just as somebody who loves you um, just just be who you are don't change because you're you're an awesome person and one of the most astounding people I know in my whole entire world and I love you and good luck and I'm cheering you on and I'll be there to see you live win the crown because I know you're gonna do it God's got his hand on you and I love you um. Whenever I'm praying for you, MK, I just think of this one word, and it's obedience. And like, I know that going into this situation of of pageant land, that could like seem so shallow, like on the outsider looking in. Like, I know that you are called there for a reason, and I know that you know in your heart that you're called there for a reason. And you just have to be obedient to that call. And I'm actually kind of going through the same thing where it's just like, why? Because, you know, I want to be here where I feel safe and love everything. But there's a, a place where God is calling you specifically. And, like, it's hard because that place may be filled with such darkness. So that's why we're there to begin with. So I have this verse, and it's from Second John chapter 1, verse 6. It says, And this is love, that we walk in obedience to His commands. As you have heard from the beginning, His command is that you walk in love. And I just encourage you to, wherever you are, whoever you're with, just walk, like, knowing that God's love is literally, like, wrapped around you like a huge, like, jacket. And just carry that with you wherever you go. And, like, you already do that so easily and so naturally. So I just want to encourage you to keep doing that because no matter, like, I know that you hear it a lot, but it truly does affect every single person that you meet. And I just want you to know that and just be encouraged to keep doing it, even though it's hard and the enemy may seem like everywhere, but you're there with God and that's greater than any place of darkness. So be encouraged. I love you so much, MK. I was so excited to watch you in Miss UF and then Miss Florida, and I can't wait to see you in Atlantic City to be there cheering you on for Miss America. Love you. Hey MK, I just want to encourage you and tell you that you've been called for such a time as this and the Lord has placed you in this moment, in this position for um, a very specific and special reason and um, He has called you to just impact not just people of our age but people that are so much older and so much younger and there's going to be times where you're going to feel lonely, there's going to be times where you feel segregated, where you feel like Mary might only be your friend but just know that you have such such a huge, amazing um, friendship base back at home. We love you so much. We're always there for you, and the Lord is with you. You'll never be lonely because you have such a purpose right now, and you're going to do amazing things this next year and beyond. Uh, words of encouragement to the uh, amazing MK. Just remember, like, how many people are behind you and supporting you. You have no idea. Um, you know, I mean. You know me and Alex talk about you all the time. Um, and uh, we really look up to you. You're a great example to so many people. So many people love you. And uh, I know you're gonna meet like a bajillion people through this process and um, doing all these great things. Um, and I know you might feel like these are just, just so many people just passing along the way, just just another person you meet every day. Um, but just make sure you remember like the, the deep relationships that you have. Make sure you remember um, the people that, that are your family, whether you're related to them or not, that are really your family, where your heart is, uh, you know, just um, just remember just remember about this campus and uh, the people that people love you here. Okay, just a word of encouragement. I think the verse that has been on my heart for you right now is just, um, surely you will see the goodness of the Lord and just wait for the Lord. And I know that this process can be so trying and so weary, and I know that a lot of it goes without people even saying that, um, but you will see the goodness of this. And I know that just the impact you're having on so many lives and just by being so obedient to the Lord to even do this in the first place. Um, so you will, you will see that. And um, I'm just so proud of you and I just love you so much and I can't wait to cheer you on. 
now, <laughs> I could definitely get emotional because I see the hand of God on your life, MK, and I've seen it for several years. And when I think of you, I think of handmaiden of the Lord, that you truly are one set apart. And that's what the word holy means. It, it means set apart. And you're going forth as God's holy vessel set apart for him and you're going into a lost and dying and perverse generation to literally shine the light of Jesus into many many places and I am praying not only for a national anointing for you sweetheart I am praying for a double portion the portion of Elijah to be upon you that you would say in your heart no I don't want to settle for whatever I can just conceive that God wants to just rip off the preconceptions off of your life and say God do with me whatever you want he's given you a whole package but not for yourself he's given it to you so that you can go preach the gospel to the lost and to the dying and I know MK that you are going to say yes Lord again that word handmaiden that's Mary that's the mother of Jesus when he, she almost got freaked out and said oh my gosh what am I doing and then and then he and then Gabriel said to her don't be afraid and she said yes Lord whatever you want and that would be my prayer for you as you just walk through this week yes Lord whatever you want if that means you know ministering to another contestant or if it means putting on the bigger crown I just know that that you're on that precipice and just take off the preconceptions and just say yes Lord whatever you want and literally I pray that the power and the anointing of God just rests upon you and that the light of Jesus is just shown bright about you every time that you step on that stage on or off that stage that people would say I don't know what it is there's just something different about that girl and this nation needs more of what she has I know that you're gonna go forth as a beautiful testimony to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we are backing you all the way and we love you well MK I just want to send a word of encouragement to you um, you know I talked to you in New York City and I believe that was a divine appointment and I just love watching your story unfold. I know that God had a plan for you, a special plan for you, and that your time alone with Him has qualified you for these times that He's prepared you for and that you're walking in right now. But, you know, I think if I could give you any um, thing to focus on, it would be, you know, so many times we're focused on the destination when God really is focused on our journey. And so just to really embrace the journey. And then, you know, so, so many times we're focused on where we're going but God is focused on who you're becoming. And through all this, it's easy to think like, I gotta be this and I gotta be this and I wanna make sure I'm representing him right. But God's really focused on you becoming, he doesn't waste a step. And through this, he's just focused on making you even more like him and even more useful. So just that time alone spent with him, that time where you're stretched beyond your comfort zone and you get weary, just continue to, to find rest in him and knowing that He's got a divine plan and you're just walking it out and just really embrace the journey and enjoy your time with him. This is your time and on earth and your time to fulfill your purpose and your destiny. So praying for you and I'm excited to see the rest of the story. MK, you are so important to me and everyone you meet and you're such a light. And I just, words of encouragement to you is that you just always shine your light and I know you do. And I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I thank you for all you've done for me and all you're going to continue doing for me, and I'm always going to be here for you, and I'll be praying for you on your journey, and I know that God's got his tight hand on you, so just keep doing what you're doing, shine your light, and I love you so much. Thank you. you. MK, um, you have every, God has been preparing you from the moment that you were born to this moment right now and you know that he's going to complete his work in you and that you have absolutely no worries because you have a family here and I'm here and I adore you and I love you and I support you in anything that you do and I know that God is going to just allow you to just shine so bright in this pageant and I'm just so so excited for you and um, you are walking with the Lord and you don't have anything to worry about. I love you so much MK. Merrick Gavin, if I had to give you a word of encouragement, I would say that just listen to God um, because God's using you in ways bigger than you can even imagine right now. I mean, He's using you in people's life that you don't even talk to. 
um, I can say that firsthand. I mean, just the impact that you had on me was was just life changing. It really was. And I've talked to everybody else that I, that I know that's known you, and they say the same thing. Um, you're just truly an incredible person, and you truly embody the Holy Spirit in a way that I've never seen before. Um, and everybody I know just admires you and loves you. And just just be you. Like we love you for you. We don't love you because you're Miss Florida or you're Miss University of Florida or, or you're Miss America. If you end up being Miss America, like we just love you for you. We love that heart of gold. Um, so just continue to be you and we'll continue loving you. MK, I got your back in prayer. I am always there for you any time of the day or night. Love you so much. Love you, MK. MK, I love you. MK, I love you so much. You rock, MK, I love you. I love you, MK. I love you, MK. Mary Catherine Fechtel, I absolutely love you, girl. I love you so much, MK. I love you, MK. I love you, MK. We love you, MK! I love you, MK. MK, I love you. And MK, I want you to know I love you, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hummingbird, Angel Nugget Face loves you.